Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 12th through the 18th of November, 2023. I hope everybody is doing really well. I am going to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there, so do take what resonates for you and just simply leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Capricorn, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that just simply isn't for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, you are starting out with the star card in reverse. You have the two of wands reversed and the devil. So you're actually in your power here, uh, even though there's um, a wish that's not, you're not being granted or you, you haven't gotten. Um, I do feel like you may be choosing to move in another direction with regard to a person or a situation. And I, I feel like it, it may be because you've given up hope on the situation. Um, it could be a toxic situation. Uh, this could also be a situation that you feel very strongly attracted to somebody and this person you feel like is not choosing you, um, which would make you feel like your wish is not being granted. So let's, um, I do feel a sense of dissatisfaction, a sense of injustice here though. So let's see who's in your energy. Show me, thank you. All right, so the person in your energy has the Ten of Coins reversed, Two of Swords reversed, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, there's a lack of communication. This person made a decision to create an ending I do feel like there is a profound sense of loss. They could have lost some money, too. Um, this decision that they made could have cost them to lose a lot of money. I do feel like if uh, that this person is not communicating with you right now, and they are trying to heal their energy. Let's see the energy between the two of you. The chariot in reverse. Yeah, there's no no movement between the two of you. Things are stuck. You both feel a little bit stuck, but there's nothing moving between the two of you, which is making you feel kind of hopeless, and they're feeling a sense of loss here. Let's see. Um, what, okay. Oh, the Ace of Cups and the Hermit in reverse. So I feel like you, the two of you are kind of on a break here, but there's going to be, after a bit of soul-searching, I feel like, Capricorn, you're going to communicate with this person. You're going to be doing a lot of soul searching first. And it has to do with the new beginning. Now, it's unclear to me if if somebody else had a new beginning. Let's, let's, uh, we'll have to clarify that. But I do see a discussion about a, a new beginning in love or a beginning in love is what is affecting this connection. Let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. That's an offer of some sort. It's also communication. Um, it's very small, though. It is very small, but it is in the upright, which is, is a good thing. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So there's a sense of betrayal here. I feel like, Capricorn, that sense of betrayal was on your side. Um, you may have felt very betrayed, but it also tells me that there's a underlying energy of trying to work things out trying to, you know, uh, bring this connection back to life. So let's clarify. Why is the star card reversed? Queen of Wands reversed and the tower. Hmm. Who was it? Was it, um, Taurus had, the person that was in Taurus's energy had this, this same... The same thing came out. The Queen of Wands reversed and the Tower moment. Um, so that's very interesting. But I will say that um, there was a wish you had here with this person. And I do feel like you, you didn't get your wish. I do see a Tower moment is caused by this. I see a crumbling away of a foundation. 
And I'm also seeing here that, that you're not really taking action on the situation. Um, you may you may feel a lack of passion right now towards this person. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, a Leo, or a Aries. Could be another Capricorn. Virgo is here, as is Cancer. All right, Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so both of you have made decisions here. I do feel that that uh, I do feel that you feel a sense of loyalty. This person, there's something to do with loyalty. There's something to do with seeing uh, this person after a, a bit of soul searching, seeing them as being the person that you would want to be with. For some of you, for others, this is about money. You're having to work extremely hard, and it's because there's been a, a financial loss here. This financial loss was caused because of a decision, and there may be some regrets with regard to that decision. This could have also been what caused the tower moment here. It would have been a lack of, of um, action that was taken that, that caused this imbalance. So for some of you, I'm seeing that there's been a, a lack of action. It caused a, an imbalance financially. There was a great loss of money because of some decision that was made. And somebody's having to work extremely hard. And you're figuring out how to, how to reverse that. Um, that's a side note, though. And you are going to reverse it, but it's going to be smaller than what you think. But in any event, um, with the energy of this person. Either you left this person out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. This looks to be somebody that you are in a long-term connection with. So let's see why the devil is here. The king of wands and the six of coins in the reverse. I do feel that there was a very, very strong relationship here at one point. Um, I do feel that it could have been that um, it could have been that you've leveled up. You've leveled up. You've had to take charge of things. You're now taking action here, but it's because of a loss of finances or an imbalance in this connection. You're the one taking action, whereas before I feel like you were holding back. I am seeing that there is some toxic energy here. It could be sexually. And I also see that there, there has been some conflict for you about whether to act or not to act. A lack of action in the past caused a tower moment. And so I do feel that you are now taking action. Let's look at this person's energy. Why is the 10 of coins here? in reverse. All right, we have the hangman and the ace of wands. Oof. Okay. So, this person could be waiting for a new beginning with you. For some of you, that's absolutely the case. But I will have to say that for somebody, this person had a long-term affair they had a long-term affair, and it led to an ending in this relationship. That is what brought about the tower moment. It also brought about a lot of hopelessness. This connection has not been moving forward. And I do feel that for a lot of you, you are married to this person or in a long-term connection. You've left them out in the cold because you felt that they chose another person. Let's see why this Two of Swords is here. Why is the Two of Swords in reverse, please? All right, we have the Ten of Wands, and there's that Ace of Cups. Yeah, so there was a decision to have a new beginning in love. It's affected this relationship greatly. It was this person who made that decision. And I do see that they were very troubled. It's it's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. It took them a long time to make this decision. 
I feel like this person had an affair and it was a long-term affair. After a very long time, they made a decision to have a beginning in love and that's what caused the tower moment for you. Why is the four of swords here? Death card in reverse, justice card in reverse, and the ten of cups. So this person, this person went towards their own happiness, even though they realized that things were not done between the two of you. There, there's been no resolution of things between the two of you. It's not over. And they're still showing up in your energy as being in this connection. And I do feel that, I do feel there's been a break. So there could be a separation here. But this person knew that what they were doing was wrong. They kept it secretive. They didn't say anything. There's been a break in this connection where they have literally become part of another family or, you know, or they're, they're off taking care of their own happiness. They're moving towards their happiness. And there's a culmination that's coming because they have a lot of tens here and a lot of aces. So there's a culmination that's coming. And I do feel that it hasn't completely happened yet. Justice can also be legal action. I do feel that it's not a complete, everything's not complete. They're still showing up in your energy as being in the upright. And things are not over between the two of you. There is a lack of communication, which I feel like you're going to approach. Let's see the energy between the two of you. I do feel like you both feel stuck. You really feel stuck. Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Magician yeah, this person was manifesting passion, basically. They were manifesting passion. They were manifesting this end. Um, they're still feeling kind of stuck, though. I do feel this person can be a bit manipulative, so be careful with that energy. You're definitely feeling stuck. I do feel that this was not the way you wished for things to go, um, and it, it has literally caused a tower moment for you. So, let's see... Um, Let's see what's affecting the connection. There's a new love beginning that is definitely affecting this connection. And I don't feel like it's between the two of you. I think it's this person stepped out on their own. All right, we have Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords. Now, that's in the underlying is it's in the reverse. Six of Coins in the reverse. Yeah, so there was a betrayal here. That's what's affecting this connection. There was a deep betrayal. I do feel like this person cut you out in order to have a new beginning elsewhere. And I'm telling you, that decision, um, they, there may have been some confusion here. It's been problematic for them ever since. Another 10, which indicates a culmination of a situation. Um, in your energy, I do feel like you took a step back here. You did feel very hurt and rejected by this person. I can see that. And I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, it, it caused an imbalance for you. You are going to be communicating to this person, though. You definitely are going to be communicating. And I do feel like you are looking at the financial aspects of this decision as well. You didn't choose this, they did, and and you should not have to suffer financially because of their choices, is what I see you telling this person. I do feel that you will be open to listening to what they have to say. They're wondering, by the way, because they know they've caused a lot of problems with their decision here. However, I feel like where they may have cut you out in order to start this this other love affair, you will you will in a heartbeat cut them out and they know it because you have been betrayed by them. All right, let's see your outcome. Why is the page of pentacles here? We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. We have the Lovers. And 
we have again that four of swords all right so i do see a break coming up between the two of you again i do see some communication um, but there will be a break coming up between the two of you again um, and it has something to do with this offer here i do feel that um i do feel that with this nine of pentacles reversed i feel like you are feeling a sense of loss some of you guys may be checking out you know other other situations as well but you are acknowledging that this person could not seem to keep their sexual tendencies under control. And that has led to an ending and a great loss. I do see an offer coming your way. So it looks like it could be somehow legally or there's some, it could just be communication as well. The person in your energy is moving headlong into another relationship. They are very concerned about their own happiness and they, they don't desire communication at this point. Although they know that they have treated you incorrectly, there is a, a sense of wrongdoing here and they know that the situation is not complete. Somehow, a lot of it feels like it's incomplete because of a financial situation. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. All right, so that's underlying energy, and it does tell me, Capricorn, that you are very well aware of your self-worth. You are recovering from a betrayal here, and I do feel that you are going to come out financially well off as well. Um, even if you have a loss initially, you will recover from that. And I'm also seeing that you're in a very uh, a receiving mode. You're in a, a mode where you're just kind of sitting back and allowing everything to come to you. You're not out chasing after anyone. Um, I, I do see this period where there's going to be another break. It's almost like the two of you come together. You have a discussion, um, but you're really standing your ground here because of the betrayal. And then I see another break. So... Let's get an oracle card and see what kind of messages we get there. Yeah, it says, it's number 31, a time to walk alone. And it does look like it has the fall time frame pretty, pretty relevant here as well. So let's read that. There is such sadness in misunderstanding, but know now that it will only last a season. When we share who we truly are with others, and especially with those we love, there are few things more harsh than a lack of acceptance or a misunderstanding due to ignorance, fear, or the failure to truly listen. When this card comes to you, there may be a sense that you have attempted to reveal who you are the witch within, and she has been met with disbelief and skepticism. It is, of course, as it should be, that others are free to react as they do, and if we were without any of the humanity that we are here to learn, it would matter little. But to you, it has mattered, and there is a sense of rejection and abandonment that comes with this card, just as this little witch has been cast forth from her own people, as they have feared and been taught to reject people like her. Know that there are many people in this world who feel that there is only one way to the divine, and they have embraced fearful dogma as it is simpler and seemingly safer than walking the hard road of authenticity and commitment to our magical path. Know that this time will pass and soon. There will be breakthroughs and friendships that emerge from true understanding. The sense of walking alone in a world growing colder will not last, and in time you will know that the separation that took place was in so many ways a bright blessing. For you are meant to discover and you need the space, the time, and the opportunities to become who you truly are meant to be. You are not lost, you are wandering, and as you do, you will come upon the path that you are meant to tread. Till that time, the kitsune will walk with you so that you are never alone. Oh, yeah. And I, I love this card for you, especially Capricorn, because I can see this sense of rejection, 
a sense of, you know, this person that you spent quite a bit of time with and the, the rejection. Um, but you have to know that in the end, this is going to work for your better good. You're going to elevate your energy, your vibration, and you're not really alone. So always remember that. All right. I do hope that um, this has been helpful to you. If you have resonated with it, please hit that like button. And if you have not already uh, subscribed to my channel, I hope you will do so. Until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.